Hey, what's up guys, it's another video and it is Brent here and we are doing another plugin tutorial. This is my second one in total and the first one we did permissions X and now we are doing light bands. So basically how this is gonna go is I'm gonna just show you guys how to like use light bands and just show you like basically how to actually use it. Yeah, so basically I do slash help light bands and so first of all you can do slash ban so you can ban burn encoded which is you can ban that player and it just shows you the format right now so for so one minute this is one minute this is one second one month one year one day and yeah so then say i do one day and then i can do a reason so recording and i don't know so then when I click enter, it will ban me for one day for recording. So just for the sake of this video, I'll do one second. Then I'll do, and I'll do two seconds because it takes off literally one second. So if I do one second, it will show zero seconds remaining for my time. So I'll show you guys. One second and killing mobs. So now if you see the dash S, this basically makes it silent. So if you do this with no dash S, it basically makes it public. And if you want no one else to besides operators or you to see the, the ban, you just do dash S anywhere in the, the, you can do it before the name or after everything. So say I do this, band expires in zero seconds. This is why, well, this is because if you you have to do two seconds for it to show one second. See, look, it says silent because it is silent. If I wasn't up, I wouldn't even be able to see that. But anyway, so the next thing is slash kick. So slash kick is just like burn and reason. Um, to op at YouTube. So now it kicks me to op at YouTube, and. This is just the format. So the next thing is mute. So if I slash mute, you can make it silent again. It just makes it no one else to be able to see it except operators or you. Oops. I'll just mute, burn encoded. Three seconds, spamming, dash S. So now I can't talk till three seconds. So yeah, I just muted myself. So yeah, it unmuted me, and obviously, but, because it was three seconds. So now there's slash warn. So you can warn people, and you just warn burn encoded spamming. Basically you can spam people, and it the warnings expire, which is really cool. So you can change the, time it has to go until it expires um in the config if you want but the default this is the default now if i want to do it silently oh i have to so you have to wait 30 seconds but if you want to do silently just do the dash s if it's in any of these commands you can do the dash s so what's next is slash ip band so slash ip band you can do the player or or you can do, um, so you do IP band, you can do the, the name or the actual IP. If I type enter, I would be IP band, and I don't want to do that. So, sorry guys, I, I don't want to do that. Because then I'd be, I won't be, well, I'll be IP band. So, slash IP mute, it's the same thing as IP band. If you're permanently muted on that IP, you'd have to get like a VPN or something, which I do highly don't really recommend because they can break your Wi-Fi. Next is slash unban. You can, it's just like this, and then I'll be unbanned. But it says, if you're not banned, it says you can reconnect, and they'll be unbanned once they try to come back on. And you can also do the same slash unmute. But I'm not muted, of course. And then, so what you can do is, then it's actually like unworn. You can unworn, run encoded, Last warning I removed because now I have zero warnings. I 
Thank you, slash warnings. Yes, so I have zero warnings, but if I warn myself, do warnings, I was warned, see? And that keeps going. And then you